Because although a great evil is receding from Sanctuary, a new festering curse now spreads its corruption across the land. More dangerous, more malignant than I could have imagined. I have found a way to stop this plague. To rip the dark power of these monsters from their very core and turn it to our advantage in destroying them. But I cannot do this alone. My allies have fallen. My strength is dwindling. The malignant are relentless and without mercy. I need help. I need you. Diablo 4's season one patch notes, which have now uh, officially been out, I don't know, maybe two days or something. We're recording this right now with less than 24 hours, one day left until season one is released. So what I am here bringing you today is what I think is the most important change of this patch note of course you can watch all the many other patch notes videos out there right now on youtube from your top streamers you know asmogold woody joe they have both have very different and important perspectives that you know will explain to you in more detail than what i'm going to break down right now today but i'm gonna bring to you what i think is the most important change of all in this patch so we're gonna get to it as quickly as possible i'm gonna make this short and sweet but we're gonna break this down so let's just open it up here we got the patch notes open we're gonna start from the top here it is diablo 4 patch notes we're not gonna read really any of this if you want to i'll probably i'm gonna put the link later on in the youtube video that you can go to if you want to read into further detail of any of this patch notes here but there is a lot of changes obviously there's new legendaries uniques all these things apparently it's going to be a little bit harder to level now because of the changes coming up you can read those down below but mainly what i want to go over here we're going to go scroll down all the way to the bottom because this is what this video is all about the number one changes the biggest most noticeable changes that you will see coming up here and that's going to affect everyone's build so you really should pay attention to this because i know me personally my build i'm a frost sorcerer and i've heavily been relying on vulnerable damage so as you can see here I'm going to highlight this bad highlight job. Vulnerable damage reduced by 40%. And pretty much most of my, some of my skill tree even relies on vulnerable damage. But a lot of my paragon tree as well. Most of my paragon tree right now, I am putting most of those points heavily into vulnerable damage because of how effective this skill is right now. So. Before I go any further into these, we're going to read this developer note down here. because This is really what we should be paying attention to when we decide our build for this coming season, right? So developer notes, we have seen that skillful players are frequently slaughtering many monsters many level above their own. I just slaughtered that fucking sentence. But yes, what they're seeing is uh it's pretty easy for us to slaughter monsters higher level than us and so their idea is they want to support the situation but they believe the long-term goal is shifting the power this is the main this is what we should highlight right here we're shifting the power to many affixes from defensive affixes to offensive I want basically what all these changes are 
describing to us is that many of the defensive affixes that we relied on are going to be nerfed. And many of the offensive fixes that we ignored will be buffed. And the main offensive affixes that we all relied on for everybody's builds will be nerfed. Meaning, especially where I'm scrolling way too much and I'm losing sight of where the heck this is, but mainly these ones right here. Critical damage, vulnerable damage. All this right here is pretty much what a lot of the builds that is meta right now, meta, you know, what we're relying on, what is making the game a lot easier and what allows every build to do a lot more damage pretty much at this point is because of these main affixes. So these are being reduced heavily. And what you see here below is a lot of increases. Oh, oh let me stop because there's a few reduces right about there. A lot of increases towards specific elements of damage that you can do per character, per build. They're basically, I feel like they're just making all builds a little bit easier to play, a little bit easier to, you know, develop damage accordingly. However, the way the balance is right now, everything relied on the above damage types that we were using. So this should be a very interesting change. You know, it's going to affect pretty much all builds. Literally, there's every damage type almost in this list that is increased. And the main ones that we all use are decrease, right? And going off of that, there's a few um, damage reductions that like certain classes had mainly um, druids, right? But they're fortified damage reduction while fortified is going to be reduced by 25%. So you're going to be taking more damage, a lot more damage than you're used to using your certain reduction, anything. Basically, like damage reduction from enemies that are poison. I don't know how this is even going to work. Is this going to account for like certain elixirs or potions that you're using? Say you have a curative potion, right? That gives you 50%. Uh, dot poison whatever reduction I don't know how that's going to count into that we will have to see a lot of it's going to change it's mainly going down to how damage is done and damage is dealt and that is pretty much what you need to focus on right now for this season I think um, if you really want to read into the detailed part of each class right here in the developer notes they have all the different classes that you can open up Obviously, I'm not going to go into all the detail for this video because it's going to be way too long of a video. And I'm just trying to, you know, focus on this one main change that we're looking at here because it's going to affect all, everybody in every way, pretty much. We're going to have to redo how we first made our preseason builds, right? Anyway, so the other big change here that a lot of people are concerned about is experience is getting reduced pretty much conservatively no longer you'll be able to have your one low level buddy hang out in the end of the dungeon getting all experience because they're adjusting that pretty much very significantly i don't know how it's going to affect like actual groups doing dungeons maybe it'll change it a little bit and make solo a little more viable feeling you know because right now Playing in groups is just the optimal way to level. It's just so much faster than leveling by yourself. So hopefully maybe that'll actually balance that out a little bit. And, you know, there's a lot of other different changes here. You can read in about, you know, world tier buffs and nerfs and so on and so forth. 
But mainly, what this video is about, and what we're here today to tell you, is the damage changes. So I hope you find this video informative, gives you some sight of what is changing here. Don't forget, obviously, I almost forgot, I was gonna add this in the beginning, and we're adding it in the end. A lot of stuff is getting carried over, so log in to your main account that has the most renown on it because that's going to get carried over. I'm not sure exactly how much renown will get carried over cuz at a certain point like renown level 3 um a lot of it's based off the campaign which if you complete the campaign obviously that's carrying over as well. Um I feel like a lot of that, the campaign renown is tied together so all of that's carrying it over. However, level four and five renown are like side quests and other things so who knows how much renown is getting carried over i'm not really sure just make sure you log into your main account that you have the most renown on because that is what will be carried over into season one for your new character and if you've completed the campaign like we were saying earlier that will be finished for you so you can start off fresh without any campaign to do as well as your altars that is one main thing that is like the the pain of the game. Everyone just does not like doing it, really. I don't know. I found it kind of fun. It's awesome to look at the map and like go around it, but it does take a long time and it's annoying and frustrating at some points. But anyway, <laughs> long story short, all that stuff's getting carried over, right? We're gonna get a lot of stuff carried over. So make sure you have that stuff down and done this video is probably you might see this already when the new season has come out 